Last week, NVIDIA published this paper. It promises that we will essentially be able to take a simple picture or images that we already have and transform them into a highly accurate and detailed 3D models. So let's see how it works. And as usual, we will keep it as short as possible. So for Neural Angelo to create these 3D models from pictures, we need to teach a neural network to understand how light behaves as it passes through a 3D object. Neural Angelo uses neural volume rendering. We train it with examples of the object from different angles. It uses a continuous function that maps 3D spatial locations. So any 3D space will be broken down to many points in space. And it will associate each point in this 3D space with a particular color and density value. So that when we render the object, it looks exactly like the original. Same colors and same density. The neural network is trained to learn this function from input data like images or even videos. Once this function has been learned by the neural network, it can then be used to generate new images of the same object but from new points of view or under different lighting conditions. Previous methods needed more information. Because for a vision algorithm to create a 3D model, information like segmentation or depth are usually needed. Like we needed to divide the image into multiple segments, usually separated based on color or texture, and this kind of data can be expensive and time consuming. Neural Angelo produces results just from an image. It eliminates the need for additional equipment or data collection. So it first does something called multi-resolution 3D hash grids, basically dividing the 3D space into small cubes or what we call voxels. Similar to a pixel in a 2D image, 3D is broken into voxels, and each voxel stores information about the shape, color, and other characteristics of the 3D object. We have then grids with different resolutions. Neural Angelo can accurately capture and produce both the big picture and the finest details of the object. And then it uses neural surface rendering, basically using neural networks to render surfaces from the 3D data we now have. So it takes in the 3D information and generates an image of the object from a specific viewpoint. That means we can go from 2D to 3D and keep all the fine details. The possibilities here are huge for games, architecture, VR, medical imagery or movies. We can just take a picture of anything and make a 3D model of it. And after all this, we now have a good 3D object, but we want to make it even better, smoother edges and more details with a higher resolution. There is a lot of math involved here, but let me put it this way. Let's say we have a building to reconstruct. We need to know everything about the characteristics of the building, like the shape, the curvature, everything. We use higher order derivatives, but instead of calculating these derivatives directly, which is very complex and sometimes even impossible, they use numerical gradients to approximate the derivatives. They evaluate the function at multiple points and use the differences between these points to estimate the derivative. This way they can know how the surface changes at each point. So it's an estimation, but it gives great results, giving us smoother and more accurate reconstructions. And then the final step, to get the best resolution possible, they used coarse to fine optimization on the hash grids. So it's an optimization process. The process begins with a coarse, low resolution representation of the object. This first representation captures just the basic shape and structure of the object. Then they progressively refine the surface by adding more detail at higher resolutions. Like a drawing, you start with a rough sketch and gradually add more details until you have a nice drawing. With each iteration of the optimization process, the model becomes more accurate and we go from a rough approximation to a high resolution, true representation of the desired object. The paper presents then experimental results on standard benchmarks and real world scenes. Neural Angelo is put to the test against DTU benchmark, it achieves the best reconstruction accuracy outperforming other image-based neural surface reconstruction methods. In the near future, we are going to be able to create lifelike virtual replicas of any real-world object. With the development of virtual and augmented reality, we will see some really interesting applications for this technology. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.